Sending greetings to you all. Wishing you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Today my concentration is going to be on dual location. You know with your civil 3D, you can definitely use the geolocation features on your civil 3D. So follow me while I put you through on how to achieve that. The first thing you have to do is after you launch your civil 3D, you come to your sign in option. Under the home, you come to sign in option. When you bring your cursor to it, then you click on it. So it's going to show sign into Autodex account. So you click on that. Now this is the page on the screen. It enables you to bring in your emails. So for you, if you have and if you have signed into Autodesk before, you can definitely do it to bring in your email and then you sign in. But for new user, what you simply do is to do what you click on create account. Then after you create the account, you do what you provide your details, your name, your email, then password. Then it enables you to sign in after you provide those details. It's actually free for you to sign in. So you can create accounts for that. And for those who are, like for me now, I've created an account before with Autodex. So what I'll simply do is to provide my details. So the emails is a uh, survey got easier. So I will put the email survey got easier at gmail.com so this is my mail you can definitely message me through the mail if you need any assistance on any survey or engineering job i can if something i can render hand assistance to i will definitely do that thank you so i'll click on next then i'll bring in my password i will input my password And then I'll click on sign in. Now you can see now when you check this place now, you know previously it was showing you sign in. Now I'll sign it to the Autodex account. You can see survey got easier. Wow, this is fine. So the next thing for you to do is that uh the next thing for you to do, let's assume this page is not on here. Let's assume this is how the Autodex environment is. What you simply do, you come to this two, two space, you click on it. Then once you click on it, it's going to bring out the features of Civil 3D, where you can use some features. Now, for you to do that, you, you uh, the default usually be on Professor Prospector. This is Prospector. We have settings. We have survey and we have two boss. But you make sure you are on survey. Right? You make sure you click on settings. So under settings, the find name, you right click under your find name and you click on edit drawing settings. Now it's going to bring out this page for you. This is where you set the transformation. You set your coordinate system. You can see that we have unit and zone. So I'll definitely do that. I'll quickly set the coordinate system for, for my location. Uh, I'm from the, uh, the coordinate system of the job where I'm working on currently is Nigeria. So I'll set it to be on Nigeria. So this is Nigeria, and then is on Mina Zone 31. You put the zone of that area, 
and then you also select the scale of the job the scale of what you want it to be and then for those you know there are some countries that they do with that they work on meters and some also work on feet but uh i work with meters so i'll select meters and then i'll click ok i'll click apply and i'll click ok now in the i said that come and see the beauty before this icon is not or is not opt-in but with the app of you selling in it's going to bring out your geolocation this is the icon of the screen here where my cursor is i believe you can see this geolocation so you definitely do what you click on it so when you click on your geolocation it's going to bring out the features of other text geolocations for you we have some features like so we have rearrange marker we have remove location but what we need what we are uh, focusing on is map. So you click on this drop down icon here. We have map area, we have map road, and we have map hybrid. So I'll click on map hybrid. You can see now. Do you want to use online map data? Then I'll click on yes. So it's loading, it's going to come up. Wow, this is nice. So this is your location on the screen here. Yeah? I believe you can see this. You can see the road. You can see that on the screen. So the beauty of this is that if you have a topo, if you are doing there with topo whereby you, you miss some features on ground, you can do that to utilize this online geolocation to do what to pick your data. So you can definitely use this geolocation for, for, for you to pick any information whereby you mixed on, on, on ground or sites. So that is the, one of the purpose and benefit of geolocation. So I believe with this little video, you can directly set your geolocation on AutoCAD in 3D. If you find this video helpful, do it with like, comment, share, and subscribe to my videos. You can also do it to turn on your notification bells to be updated on our subsequent video upload. Thank you.